Hi, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor-in-chief over at theserverside.com and I want to talk to you a little bit about getting rid of some of the bad dependencies out of your Java code. And I'm going to do that with a utility called JDEPS. Now, in order to, to run this little example with the JDEPS utility, the first thing I'm going to do is just to create a little Java Maven project. I'm just going to create a, a simple Maven project in the default workspace location com.mcnz.jdeps can be the artifact ID, group ID, and jdeps. Example will be the artifact ID. I think that's all that's really required here in order to create this basic project. And from in here, I'm just going to create a, a very, very simple little Java class. And I'm just going to put it in that com.mcnz.jdeps folder. I'll call it, I'll be clever, unsafe at any speed, because we'll use that unsafe class. And I'm going to throw a little main method in there, and I think the some of the stuff that I'm going to use here throws an exception, so I might even add a little throws exception in there. Now, in order to use JDEPS and provide a, a nice little example of what JDEPS can do in order in as much as finding, you know, deprecated pieces of code that you shouldn't be using in your applications and also suggesting alternatives, well, I'm going to need to add a little bit of code in here. And the three classes that I'm going to have to import in are field. Uh, field is a decent class to use, but the base64 encoder is not, and neither is unsafe, um, almost uh, self-evident by the name of it there. I'm just going to write a little code that uses these. So, you know, here where it says to do inside of my main method, I'll just throw in a little reference to the base64 encoder and maybe even encode a, a simple string that says, hey, this is the jdeps example. From there, I guess I can use the unsafe class to reference a field. Now, actually, I don't, that field doesn't exist in my code, but um, since we're not going to actually run this code, we should be okay. Um, and then I guess right here I can throw out the old systemout.println, and that should get rid of some of the barks that say F and S isn't being used. Do I have a little? Yeah, see, it doesn't. I get a couple of warnings here in my code. Um, and that's just Eclipse giving me some warnings on using these these uh, different APIs. But of course, one of the, the problems you get with JDEPS isn't simply the fact that a class that somebody's building is using a deprecated API, but you might actually be linking to a library that does as well. So with JDEPS, we'll take a look at just running JDEPS on an individual class, but we can also run JDEPS on a, a jar file. And that's probably what you'll more commonly do. So okay, so I've got my file created here. I might even run this as a, a Maven build and just do the install there. You can actually see that the, the build will be successful. And if I go in here and take a look at that target folder, you can see I've got this JDEX example jar file placed right there inside of that target directory. Okay, and so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run that JDEPS utility. So I'm going to say date JDEPS, get some verbose output, and take a look at any JDK internals that might be used, and specifically in this JDEPS example .jar file. And so I'll run that, and you can actually see right away we actually get a, a couple of, of references to JDK internals. And so you see it says here, you know, you're using that base64 in corridor, which you probably shouldn't be, and you're also using unsafe. And look at this. It even says, you know what, you're using that base encoder. And look, it's actually been replaced with java.util.base64 since version 1.8. So not only should you avoid using these internal APIs, but, uh, you know, here's even a suggestion on one that you should be using that's been provided to you. Anyways, that's how JDEPS works. It's real easy. It's real simple. Uh, integrate it into your builds. Uh, integrate it into your Gradle scripts. Make it part of your Jenkins pipeline. And stop using 
developing with and even referencing pieces of code that use JDK internals because eventually they're going to be ripped out of the JDK altogether.